In this lesson, we look at the language of chance. Now, a good way to consider this, we draw a scale where down the bottom is impossible and up the top is certain. We can say that any chance is somewhere between an impossibility or a certainty. Now, if something's impossible, we might say it has no chance or zero percentage. If something's certain, well then definitely it will happen. It's got a hundred percent chance. Right in the middle of something being impossible or certain, we say it's 50-50. We might even say 50-50 being an even chance or one chance in two. As a percentage, it's 50%. Now we talk about the probability of something happening there, okay, the chance of something happening towards there, we would say that it's likely or it probably will happen. On the other hand, on our scale, way down here, we would say that chance is unlikely. In other words, it probably won't happen. A couple of other things to look at. Right there at the 25% mark, we might say that it is one chance in four. At this point, at the 75% mark, we might say it's three chances in four. We'll look at some examples soon to see that. Example, for each event, choose from the list below the phrase that best describes the chance. We're going to choose either certain, which means it will happen, three chances in four, likely, probably will happen, one chance in three, 50-50 or an even chance, impossible, no chance, or unlikely, probably won't happen. All right, the first one we're going to consider, what happens if we flip a coin and it lands on heads? What's the chance? Well, it could land on a head or it could land on a tail. So that's equally likely, isn't it? So we say that it's 50-50. It's an even chance. What about this one? If today is Monday, then tomorrow is Thursday. What's the chance of that? Well, that's impossible, okay? It's no chance, okay? If today's Monday, obviously tomorrow has to be Tuesday, okay? It can never be Thursday. Now we've got a, an arrow here, and there's three colors it might land on. It could land on red, green, or blue. And it looks like they're all equally likely. So if I ask you, what's the chance that the arrow on this spinner lands on green? Well, it's got one chance in three, okay? One chance in three. Now another spinner, this time broken up into quarters. Three of them are blue, one is yellow. So the chance that the arrow on this spinner lands on blue, well, it has three chances in four. All right, three quarters of a chance. What about if we roll a normal die and get a number less than 10? Hmm, well, on a normal die, the numbers are one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the chance that you will get a number less than 10, well, that's certain, okay? It definitely will happen. While waiting to cross the road, the next 10 cars that pass you are all red. Hmm, what are the chances of that? Well, it probably won't happen, so it's unlikely, all right? We wouldn't say it's impossible. There is a chance that it would happen, but it's very unlikely. What about that it will rain sometime next month? Sometime next month. Well, that is likely. It will probably will happen. At some stage, we'll get some rain next month. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.